so this is actually the webcam of my macbook pro as you can see or it's a it's a loop so this is actually possible with the help of continuity camera feature and that is an exclusive feature for the Ventura and also your iPhone needs to be on iOS 16 so the phones that support iOS 16 and the laptops that support Ventura Mac OS will be able to use this feature now you can see the video quality is a little better because I'm using the lights and everything so it's actually a good thing if you own an iPhone as well as MacBook so this is the ecosystem magic people talk about another thing it is confirmed that Apple is not looking to improve the cameras of their laptops better. They did provide the full HD web cameras on the MacBook Pro 16 and 14, but those cameras are still way behind the camera quality of the iPhones. Because obviously, as you can see, the quality of the iPhone camera is much better, even if we compare it to the MacBook Pro 16 or MacBook Pro 14. So this actually camera continuity feature will be one of the factors, one of the key factors people would be opting for iPhones if they had the MacBook or the they will opt for the MacBook if they already have the iPhone because this is unmatchable. No camera, no web camera on any laptop is better. And of course, there are third party webcam hardware available that you can attach to your laptop. And you can also connect your DSLR cameras to use them as webcam. But this is simple and straightforward. So the thing is, why would you want to use iPhone's camera as webcam? because there are some features that are only exclusively available for iPhone's cameras. There are video effects. For example, if you go to this section control panel or control center, you will find video effects where you can find center stage portrait studio light. So if I turn on portrait, you can see that the background, my background is kind of blurred and that is only because I'm using the iPhone's camera as webcam. It is not available in the native camera of the MacBook Pro, MacBook Air or whatever. So this is one feature. Then there is center stage. If I click on center stage, what it does is it uses the ultra wide. So you can see the shift in the quality of the video because it is now using the ultra wide camera on the iPhone so I get center state feature which is that the camera will try to keep me in frame even if I move here and there so it's quite good quite nice feature and that's how I will be able to use this camera for recording my videos and maybe do a little bit of this a little bit of that and still be in the frame Sadly, this only offers 720p resolution, not full HD resolution, just like the web cameras of my new MacBook. But even the full HD cameras does not give you this kind of quality. I mean, not this. This is ultra wide. Now you can see the camera quality is a bit improved, even though it is still HD, not full HD. So far, I'm loving this. The ability to use your iPhone's camera as webcam without doing any technical stuff. I mean, there are many third party solutions that require a lot of technical know-how but this one is as simple as it can get just apple things only problem i have with this is that it only supports 720p resolution not 1080 that would have been better for me to make videos like this i mean i'm still going to make my video this video at least using this camera but sadly the resolution would be only 720p anyways it's okay nobody cares and also this is a wireless connection you don't need any kind of wire to connect your laptop with your camera although i would have used that if that would give full hd resolution but sadly connecting your phone with your macbook using a wire still gives you 720p resolution so there's no point in that also whenever you are using your iphone's camera as a webcam the screen of your iphone is not turned on it is black like it is not in use but there is a wireless connection going on here and it requires a bit of power of your iphone so make sure your battery your iphone's battery is a bit charged although it will not require a lot of power anyways there is another bummer you cannot use it in vertical mode uh, that would have been even awesome because i would have been able to use my iphone's camera for recording my instagram reels that are in vertical mode and still be able to see myself in my computer and have that footage in my computer so that i could edit 
it on my computer and then send it back to my iPhone. I'm happy that I am able to use this Apple Watch as a remote camera. I'm still able to use the back camera for recording my Instagram Reels. Moving on to the other camera effect that is desk view. What it does, let's see what it does. It will scan the area in front of your computer, in front of your laptop and will use some kind of magic to actually give it a look that would feel like I am giving you a top view of something. For some reason, it is not working. Maybe if I adjust it. Okay, if I have my camera over here, so there is some amount of space available in front of the camera. So it is able to see downwards and able to use some kind of coding or machine learning to make it a plain view, which feels like I am giving a top-down view of something. So let's go back to the portrait mode. Okay, so we are here again. And let me place this camera over here. Now, Apple also brought a small utility that is actually made by Belkin that lets you mount your iPhone to your MacBook, but you can also use something like a selfie stick or a tripod to mount your camera and have it positioned a little bit higher so that you can have this type of view even for your zoom calls. So the update for the Mac OS Ventura is rolled out to all the compatible laptops, MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs. So if you haven't already upgraded, you can do it. I am using it from last few days. I haven't found any issues with it. So it is safe to upgrade. You can find the list of all new features available in macOS Ventura in a dedicated blog post written on our blog. Link will be in the description of this video so you can check it out there. So this was it about the macOS Ventura and the continuity camera feature uh, that lets you use your iPhone's camera as a webcam. And maybe now you don't need to upgrade your MacBook to the latest MacBooks that have got the Full HD cameras because this camera is much better than the Full HD cameras on the MacBook Pro 16 and 14. Although there are many other features of MacBook Pro 16 and 14 that are quite useful. I have already done a review of it on the channel itself. You can check it out and subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.